Hey guys, Kev Klex here, and it's time for another awesome, awesome doll review. And um, today I'm doing a doll review on the Barbie inline skating doll. And I just want to say I apologize for my nasally voice if it's very, very uh, apparent because I am not feeling very well. I have a little bit of like a stuffy nose, maybe allergies, maybe a cold. Who the hell knows? But I definitely want to get this review done. So I'm going to make it regardless of how I feel. But yes, so as you can see, I have the Barbie movie inline skating doll from the wave two of the Barbie movie uh, dolls. And um, yeah, really, really excited to have her. This was one of the ones I wanted the most, second to the Western Barbie. And I mean like out of all of them. Um, yeah, she was definitely the second one I wanted. So I'm so, so happy to finally have her. Um, for those of you wondering, um, I did kind of just like bite the bullet and I did buy her on eBay sue me um i did buy it for double the price sue me again but honestly after the stress of everything with the series the series one dolls or the wave one dolls i literally did not want to have to deal with that again i didn't have to didn't want to have to deal with stressing out going to different stores um all that jazz um i do want to get another one of her to have inbox but i also want to have one to unbox so i kind of wanted to kind of like beat that just because it's just it was just very stressful the first time around especially for someone who is a very big barbie fan big margot robbie fan and someone who really wanted these dolls um yeah, it was just something I, I just made a decision to do. Oh, yeah, here she is. Very happy to have her. This is considered one of the budget dolls, so she will be retailing for twenty four ninety nine, I think. Um, maybe a little more depending on like where you get her from, but I'm pretty sure the retail price is supposed to be twenty five dollars. So, yeah. so back of the box, we have the same backing as the other Barbie doll. All right, it's just Margot Robbie and sitting in the car, looking all cute and everything. So yeah, all right, blah blah. blah. Other side, top bottom um for those of you guys wondering here is the barcode sorry i'm gonna try to get it so the light doesn't like affect it all right so pretty cool but all right guys let me pause the video because i am so excited to open this doll up and see what we have in store all right all right so she is out of the packaging and she looks so cute um i do have a couple gripes i'll be honest i do have a couple gripes but overall i do love the doll and i do think she's very very cute so getting a look at her though, we can see that she does have the standard Margot Robbie face. All right, pretty cute, pretty cute. I don't think there's any change up in this. Like I'm pretty sure the makeup is pretty much the same. If I'm like 100% sure, I'm not. Yeah, I don't think there's really, I mean, honestly, what makeup? I don't really think they did really much to each doll. I mean, aside from maybe a little extra, maybe mascara or something with a few of them. I'm not, not really sure, but still very pretty nonetheless. All right, her hair is all straight. There's no bangs with this one. So we get a budget doll that has no bangs. So that's really fun. So if you want to kind of change your doll up, you have one that you can kind of style with like, I guess some of the other outfits that you didn't see her with bangs in. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I know like some of the uh, outfits I have in the Barbie, like three outfit set and everything. I think this doll can kind of like help play into those. So that's gonna be pretty fun. Um, so I am going to definitely get multiples of her, hopefully, if I can. Um, so yeah, but anyways, very cool to have that. It is pretty long, right? It goes down to like her butt, so that's cute. There also is a little kind of pony here, so that's nice. Um, I definitely want to like restyle this hair though and like have a little more fun volume added to it because I just feel like her hair looked a little more fun and everything in the movie. So yeah, definitely want to change that up. And especially with the where this is sitting, like the visor. I need to cover some of that up because it is just way too chunky. Um, but yeah. All right. She has two little strands here too, which are really nice. I love that. And they're shortened too. They're not the full length. So mm, living. So pretty cute there. All right. She does also have some earrings and these little like neon hoops. So I am living for that. I love that so much. All right. We do love a nice hoop moment. And especially when it's some fun kind of neon colors. So that's pretty cute. Especially if you put her in black light. I think like every part of her would glow right now. So that's cool. Um, all right. Her outfit, you know, just like what we saw in the movie. Okay. So we have this kind of like leotard and underneath it are a pair of like biker shorts. Um, oh, cool. So the biker shorts are separate. At least I think all the way. I don't think they're stitched together anywhere. Um, yeah. 
so that's cute so you can kind of play around with that if you want um if you want her with the biker shorts if you don't want her to biker shorts if you want to put maybe the biker shorts on with like a cool top or something that'd be pretty fun so it gives you some kind of options and it, it's cool to have like it separate as two pieces so she comes with a lot of separate individual pieces for a budget doll that's nice so i am very happy with that all right um she does come with her elbow pads and her knee pads very fun indeed and the cool thing about them um and i mean it's a very important thing because of one of the gripes i'm gonna get into but anyways they are adjustable so you can tighten them and loosen them all right just like an actual elbow pad knee pad would be the way they kind of like the buckles tighten like that it's exactly the same so it's basically like a miniature version so i am obsessed all right and the same goes for the knee pads all right all right going down we have the moment the moment of the hour her awesome roller skates all right and these are actually impala skates like these are um yeah they actually have impala written on them in pink here and then also in yellow on the lip it's kind of hard to see <laughs> but yeah so that's cool that's cool that the licensing carry over into the barbie because it just gives more realistic vibe and for a budget doll, that's cool. That's cool to have that little detail added because I appreciate that. And now it makes me want to get a pair of Impala skates because I really do want to match my Barbie. Um, yeah, really fun. All right. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I mean, this isn't really anything in particular. You can really, this isn't really a doll that you can really explain too much of. Um, but like I said, I do want to get into some of the gripes of the doll. So one of the gripes I have... And this is just a stupid thing. This is like the light gripe. She got flat feet. <laughs> like, ew. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be like me because I mean, I know there are a lot of the dolls now, especially in the Barbie um, doll line uh, that do have the flat feet. I didn't get but that. But I, Did you try oh, again? girl, stop. I don't even know what my watch picks up on that triggers it when I'm having these like reviews sometimes. Um, but yeah, so she has flat feet. So it's, well, <laughs> but I mean, hey, we got a flat foot doll and then we have a doll at heel too. So you can kind of change up how you, um, how you play with your Barbie, I guess. Like, you know, you can kind of give yourself a little more versatility in terms of what you can wear. So cool. All right. So just letting you guys know, these are only for flat foot dolls. You can't put these on dolls with heels. I mean, you might be able to, I'm not sure, but like, I don't think so. So it just fit weird. Um, but yeah, and they do fit very snug too. I like that a lot. So, oops. So that's pretty cool. And the cool thing is the wheels do spin. So you can like actually have her like skating. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. It's like, she doesn't, you know, on the table, it didn't look like the wheels really moved. I mean, on my skin, I can feel them moving. So I don't know, maybe you gotta have it on a certain surface or something um but yeah so that's pretty fun all right and uh you know you can kind of have her looking her feet going different ways and stuff like that depending on how you would want the skates to look so that's cool as well all right um so yeah, the flat feet were one of them a second one is probably like <sighs> okay so my second one is definitely going to be the arm uh the knee pads and the elbow pads so I do love the detail of having the little kind of like, I think they're called the ratchet. No, they're not called a ratchet. Uh, snap. I don't know exactly what it's called and everything. How Like when you like pull it tight and everything. But they're cool. They work. But because it's a light plastic and because it's just like a very flimsy kind of plastic and soft and pliable, it tends to like loosen on its own. So you can't really... You can't really play with it without the kind of like uh, elbow pads and knee pads kind of sliding um, too much. Like if you bend your knee too much, it's going to start kind of wiggling and then eventually it's going to slide down her leg. All right. Or it might even stay right there. I don't know. Like it kind of has a little friction right there, but that's lower than her knee. That's not her knee. I mean, I guess like you can kind of get to sit right the end there. It can kind of work, but I don't know. It just kind of throws me off a little bit. So it's just like my other little gripe. Um, that's really pretty much it. I don't really have many gripes with this doll. I love, I really do love her. Uh, I guess the 
actually yeah the only other one i would have would i wish the visor was a little smaller it just seems like very chunky on her head compared to the rest of the outfit and i know that the visor was very big but like i feel like her hair covered it more so it kind of like balanced itself out so i am gonna try to like pull the visor off wash her hair a little bit and see if i can kind of get it to sit a little snug a little more snug because also if you look at it here, it's kind of like hard to see, but there's like a giant plastic kind of cap going around her head that's holding it in place. Yeah, we don't, we don't need all that. We don't need all that, baby. <laughs> we don't, we can just, <laughs> we can have a little more fun. So I'm definitely going to play around with that and see if I can uh, spruce her up just a little bit and make her a little more presentable. But other than that, I do love this doll. I'm obsessed. I'm so happy that we're getting such a popular outfit in a Playline um, edition because, you know, these dolls are expensive. These dolls were very expensive. I mean, they come out with a lot. And I know it's like, as a collector, you don't have to buy them all. But I wanted everybody. I loved all the outfits in the movie. I like, I wish we would have honestly just gotten like two or three Margot Robbie dolls and a bunch of fashion packs. I honestly would have been so much happier with that. Um, because that definitely put a big dent in my, in my, my, uh, wallet. It did. Name you. Name you. And the one thing I can say I'm proud of myself for, aside from this doll, this is where I cheated, but all of them I did buy for a retail price. So this is the only one I bought for a little more. So you know what? It's the only one I actually bought on eBay from someone. So, <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of myself in that aspect. But yeah, these dolls definitely did put a little dent in the wallet. So... And there's still so many more to come out, so yay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited, but I'm really stressed. But anyways, yeah. Um, anywho, back to the doll. These should be arriving in stores in October. You know, expect them probably sometime at the end of this month, uh, you know, September, because honestly, that's how everything works. Nothing really comes out exactly when it should. But yeah, very, very exciting. Um, and I actually do have an extra stand for her, so I'm, like, really happy about that, because that's the one thing about these dolls. The other thing I guess I don't really care for, but I also am I fine with the price being lowered because of it. Uh, they don't come with stands. And, I mean, for a doll that especially has, like, is wearing inline skates, of all things, like, I don't, I don't think she can stand on her own. you know what that makes sense because i'm pretty sure inline skates do that they kind of do give you a little kind of like center balance when you when you stand with them like that wow y'all even though i do kind of want to have her in a more dynamic pose this is a kind of like little kind of like simple it kind of looks like she's like losing her balance a little bit but that's not barbie barbie knows how to skate she knows how to do everything so i don't know depends on how i feel and everything but Hey, at least you guys know she can stand on her own. And I'm assuming Ken can probably do the same. Just, oh, very fun and smart engineering on the Mattel doll team's part. So, very, very cool. And maybe that was the reason why they did it. I don't know. Made her like a play line. But, <coughs> still, really, really cool. But, um, I do just want to kind of like just show you guys, I guess, like, I guess her with like some of her other like gal pals. So let's this see. movie, this movie was definitely I think like the closest thing the world has come to, um, for like world peace to like world peace. This is the closest the world has come together. I feel you know like all over the world people were celebrating this movie, having fun, wearing pink, just like, celebrating just like Barbie, just celebrating an icon and celebrating just being yourself and i just i absolutely just vibe with that and i'm so happy that we were able to get all these cool things from the barb movie um made into actual dolls so pretty pretty cool right but this is pretty much it for the doll review i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i answered some questions and everything you guys might have had about this doll because it's just i don't know it's just awesome. This is an awesome doll. I mean, you're getting a bunch of pieces. I mean, the outfit itself is separated in two pieces. You got a leotard, a pair of um, biker shorts, knee pads, elbow pads, roller skates, a visor, earrings, like, and everything with a budget doll. That is amazing. All right, guys. So this is the end of the review. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up. 
all right subscribe subscribe i love when you guys do that because i have a few more dolls i'm gonna be getting very soon that i am definitely gonna be making reviews on and i cannot wait to share them with you so um yeah so definitely follow below all right and of course leave a comment below now that we're getting into the wave two dolls who is your favorite who are you most excited for do you think we deserve a wave three because I personally do, even though I just complained a minute ago about how it's doing a dent in my, in my wallet, I just want more, like, or not even more dolls, at least another fashion pack, because there were definitely a few more looks that we saw in the movie that I think should have made it into doll form, or at least some form of, like, optional clothing for her, um, especially the outfit that she wore, like, when she went to meet Weird Barbie, oh god, that blue look, so cute! it was getting mod and i just i live for that so very fun but anywho if you guys did like this video share it because sharing is caring <laughs> but yeah and um last but not least definitely check out my instagram nerdy boy 95 because i will be sharing pictures of this doll i like to share doll news in general news of other things movies action figures stuff like that pop culture i don't even know but yeah check it out but all right guys that's gonna be it for this review i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time on cab collects bye